Uh, okay, so uh, the consumer equilibrium is the topic for today and consumer equilibrium is the situation where consumer maximizes his utility, his total satisfaction. And the basic definition of consumer equilibrium is it takes place at a point where budget line is tangent to the indifference curve. Right, so we already know that budget line is negatively sloped straight line. This is the budget line, budget line AB. And this is the indifference curve. And budget line touches the indifference curve at point E, where consumer purchases Y1 quantity of Y good and X1 quantity of X good. So these are the quantities that will maximize total utility or total satisfaction of the consumer. And now we are looking into the changes in consumer equilibrium. Changes in consumer equilibrium take place due to the three reasons. One is called income effect and the second one is price effect and then the third one is substitution effect. So we will look into them one by one. So income effect, income effect occurs whenever there is change in consumer's income. So if consumer's income increases, then budget line shifts to the right. Okay, so this is origin point and we have X good on X and we have another good that is Y good on Y axis and budget line is initially AB. Let's say this is AB, budget line AB. And let's assume equilibrium initially takes place at this point where initial indifference curve IC forms equilibrium with the initial budget line at E1 and consumer purchases X1 quantity of X good. And now we can like take one assumption as well. Uh, the assumption is there is rise in consumer's income, rise in consumer income. And the second assumption that we take is X is a normal good, right? So X is a normal good. In AS, you have already studied that normal goods are the goods that have positive link with the income. If income increases, demand for normal goods also increases, right? And the other concept that we have recently done is if there is rise in income, then budget line shifts to the right. So the new budget line will be CD. So the new budget line is CD and new equilibrium will take place at the new budget line that is the green one. And since we know that if there is rise in income, consumers demand for goods will also rise. So X1 is the initial quantity that consumer was purchasing. And this is a normal good. X is a normal good. So now the quantity will increase from X1 to X2, let's say. And if we draw the perpendicular till perpendicular till the new budget line, then we will have to form a new equilibrium at IC2 at E2. So new equilibrium takes place at E2 where consumer purchases X2 quantity of X good. So the change in quantity of X or demand for X from X1 to X2 is basically income effect. And now we can uh, like look into another type of good that is like Giffen good, right? So if there is normal good, then consumer purchases more of normal good if his income increases. But if it is a given good, then the situation will be quite opposite. So given goods are the type of goods that are like uh, very low quality products and consumer purchases let, less of them whenever his income increases. So given goods like examples may include rotten meat and fruit. Uh, if there is a rise in income, I'm using Y for income. So if income increases, demand for gift and good will decrease because these are the worst quality products and consumer will stop buying or reduce purchasing them whenever there is rise in income and high purchasing power of the consumer. So people generally buy them when their purchasing power is low. So increase in income increases their uh, purchasing power. So they buy less of the gift and goods. So we are taking given good on X axis and we have another good that is Y good on Y axis and we are not basically concerned about that. That is a kind of like um, neutral good, right? So initial budget line, let's assume is AB. So AB is the initial budget line. And let's assume initial equilibrium was taking place at this point, IC1 and this is E1. 
where budget line is tangent to the indifference curve. So equilibrium quantity is x1 initially. Now the concept if concept is if there is a rise in consumer's income, then demand for given good will fall. So first of all, you have to incorporate the impact of increase in income. If income increases, then budget line will shift to the right. Right. So it generally causes confusion and students think that budget line should left uh, shift uh, shift to the left if there is uh, X is a given good. So uh, uh, that is not correct. Rather, you have to shift budget line to the right because whenever income increases, consumers purchasing power will rise. And when purchasing power is high, consumer buy more of both can buy more of both goods X and Y. So purchasing power for X good will increase from A to C. And for Y good, it will increase from B to D. So purchasing power increases, so budget line will shift to the right. But actually, actual purchase will decrease because when income is high, consumer purchases, although his purchasing power is high, but he purchases less of given good. So initially, he was purchasing X1 quantity of given good. And after the rise in income, he will purchase less of the given good. Let's say it's X2, right? So... Now you can draw a perpendicular from X2 to the new budget line and the new equilibrium must take place at E2. And to form an equilibrium, you have to draw another IC curve. The next second reason of uh, like change in consumer equilibrium is price effect. Right. So price effect. Uh, for price effect, again, we take like two assumptions. One is one is there is fall in price effects fall in price of x x is basically the good and uh, which type of good it is x is a normal good right so we are taking these two uh, two like assumptions x is a normal good and price of x falls so what will happen to the consumer's equilibrium so again we have to draw the budget line initial budget line let's say it's initial budget line a b so this is origin point on X, we have a normal good. This is normal good. X is a normal good and Y is some neutral good. We are not concerned about that. So we are looking into the impact on X good only. So initial budget line is AB. And let's let's assume uh, that initial equilibrium is taking place at E1 where consumer purchases X1 quantity of normal good. Now, if there is fall in price of X, we know that there will be a pivotal shift in the budget line because now purchasing power for x good will increase and purchasing power for y will remain the same so budget line new budget line will be the blue one okay so new budget line is bc where consumers purchasing power for normal good has increased and the concept of normal good is that if price of normal good falls its quantity demand increases because in decrease in price increases purchasing power of the consumer and when purchasing power is high consumer purchases more quantity of normal good normal goods are basically the good quality products initially he was purchasing x1 so he will purchase x2 now and the new equilibrium must take place on the new budget line on ic2 and new equilibrium is e2 so this gap from x1 to x2 is price effect and the third thing is like substitution effect and substitution effect is uh, like we can also look into the price effect of given goods as well. We can consider another assumption that X this time X is a given good. X is a given good. And the second assumption assumption is that price of X falls, right? So given goods are the worst quality products that we purchase when our purchasing power is very low. So if price of given good falls, then it increases purchasing power of the consumer. So when price is low, consumer's purchasing power will increase. And when purchasing power is high, consumer purchase less of the given goods. So consumers buy given goods when their purchasing power is low. And fall in price increases purchasing power of the consumer. So they buy less of the given goods. So how to incorporate this into the graph as well? Uh, let's see initial budget line is this one so this is a b let's say so initial budget line is a b 
right? So let's assume initial equilibrium takes place at IC1, where consumer purchases X1 quantity of the given good. Now, if there is fall in price of X, then there will be a pivotal shift in the budget line like this, because when purchasing power increases, budget line moves to the right, right? Since price of X is low, now purchasing power for X will increase from A to C, it remaining the same for Y good. So when price falls, we know that purchasing power increases. When purchasing power is high, people purchase less of given goods. So initially they were buying X1, so they will buy less quantity that is X2 now. And if we draw perpendicular to the new budget line, then we will look into an other equilibrium that is E2 and it takes place on IC2. So this is again price effect for the given good. Okay, so if the movement uh, of the new quantity is towards left or origin point, that is kind of negative movement, quantity is decreasing, that is called negative, negative effect. So in this case, price effect is negative. But if we move to the right from X1 to let's say quantity increases and we move to the right, then that will be kind of positive effect. Uh, okay, so positive and negative effects are basically identified this way. And uh, the next scenario that we are going to discuss is substitution effect. Uh, there are like three reasons of changes in consumer equilibrium. The first one was income effect. The second one was price effect. And the third one is substitution effect. Right, substitution effect. So focus more on my voice instead of writing. So substitution effect. And we are now assuming that price of good X falls, right? Price of good X falls then what will happen to the new consumer equilibrium position? Uh, substitutes are the products that can replace each other like Coke and Pepsi. For example, if price of one product decreases, then consumer thinks that that product is relatively cheaper than Y. For example, this is X and this is Y good. And initial budget line is AB. AB. Now, if the price of X good falls, consumer imagines, consumer thinks that his purchasing power for X has increased because X is relatively cheaper than Y. So purchasing power of the consumer will decrease for Y. This is just an imagination of the consumer. So the new budget line will be like this. This is point C and this is point D. And for this new equilibrium, uh, initial equilibrium will be on the initial budget line at E1 and the new equilibrium will be at E2. So we will find the quantity of X that is X1 and then X2. And we will draw a single IC curve that will form tangency or form equilibrium on both, e both E1 and E2. But indifference curve will remain the same because it shows the same level of satisfaction. Both of these lines show the same level of satisfaction. 